Now, the Housing Secretary, Michael Gove, has hinted at a November general election, but with the Tories around 20 points behind Labour in most opinion polls, long NHS waiting lists and a record level of channel boat crossings already this year, will they actually be able to turn their fortunes around, even with months to go? Well, joining me right now to discuss this is former Deputy Leader of the Conservative Party, uh, Lord Peter Lilly. Uh, good morning to you, Lord Lilly. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, also, of course, Tom Slater is still in the studio. Um, Lord Lilly, I mean, look, the, the poll, there hasn't been a good poll for the Tories for a very long time, but some of them are worse than others, particularly the threat from Reform UK, that even though they may never get a single seat, they could actually stop the Tories winning a load of them. Is there any argument, do you think, to go sooner rather than later or later rather than sooner? Or do you think waiting to November at least gives the opportunity for something to change? Well, there's a little-known rule of the British Constitution that no government ever calls an election until the first Thursday in the fifth year, fourth year, uh, where they're ahead in the polls. And as we aren't likely to be ahead in the polls and for November, they'll put it off until November. No government's going to, uh, you know, Turkeys don't vote for Christmas and governments don't vote for elections when they're 20 points behind in the polls. So it just won't happen, whatever the rights and wrongs of it are. Well, the, the argument, I suppose, is, you know, look, some, again, something might happen, events tip or events, um, uh, but also cost of living crisis will be easing. However, we've got the channel migrant crisis that, crisis that doesn't appear to be easing with that record number 5,000 people uh, coming across in the first three months of this year. Of course, stop the boats was one of the five uh, pledges that Rishi Sunak asked to be judged on as it, from his premiership. Um, we saw, you know, it's, it's not, I mean, it was roughly 1,300 more than it had been uh, a year ago. That doesn't bode well for the summer. Um, and also, of course, NHS waiting lists. More and more figures coming out over the weekend saying, you know, people waiting, I mean, reports today, up to a month for a GP appointment. And, uh, and 250 people dying every week across hospitals in this country because they're waiting too long in A&E. Um, is there anything that you could point to that could be a game changer for the Conservatives in the polls? No, not really. Uh, that doesn't mean to say that I think everything is lost, but uh, when you're in this position, the sensible thing is to map out uh, well, so the, the electorate aren't going to thank you for anything you do. They're only going to vote you back if they're convinced that in future you'll be better than the other lot. <laughs> and so we've got to spell out the things we are doing, show we're doing them, and show what more we need, we'll need to do in the next parliament. And there's an awful lot. That's slightly difficult because that will mean undoing some things we've allowed to happen in the last parliament, above all, yeah. the huge level of legal migration, which has just got to be brought down back towards balance uh, but they've got to tackle the boats not to win elections but because it's the right thing to stop people coming illegally imposing huge burdens on our public expenditure and uh, hotels and accommodation which otherwise would be available for people born and bred here who are in need uh, so there are, we should be doing things because they're the right thing to do not because we imagine there's some tactical way of winning an election if people think you're only doing things for tactical reasons, they will discount it. If they can see you're doing them because you believe them and because you've got fire in your belly about them, then they may carry conviction. Mrs. Thatcher used to say, uh, you can only carry conviction if you've got conviction. Yes. I think Rishi has got convictions, but he's not very good at expressing them. Well, the he trouble can is express he... them with more fire. He, but will he, does, no, but he will express conviction and then and then he sort of backtracks because all oh, you know some some people don't like it one of the things about margaret thatcher was that she didn't care whether people liked her or not she did what she believed and people might disagree with it what she believed was the right thing and that's a very different way of governing than sort of looking at the latest focus group and the latest opinion poll or oh, what do they think or oh, I'll, I'll backtrack on net zero a bit or oh, i didn't go up in the polls so much and they didn't like it, so I'll backtrack again. That's the sort of wishy-washiness that an awful lot of voters are saying, well, what's the point of the Conservatives? The thing I hear from people again and again and again in the political world and an awful lot of people outside the political world, I'm one of those strange people in working in the political world who doesn't have many friends in it. I try to, my friends are largely in the normal world. Um, and, uh, and, 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 they, and they always say to me, you know, the thing is, they said, what's the difference? Even if we don't think we want a Labour government, we don't think it's going to be any different to what we've got under the Conservatives because we've basically got a Labour government now. They talk the talk, 
But when it comes to walking the walk on, you know, the trans issue, on the, you know, hate crime incidents, on uh, on, on net zero, on 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 taxes, on on pretty much everything, you may as well have a Labour government. They say. Well, the Labour Party is positioning itself as saying the Tory government's awful and we're going to do the same things, which would be a reason for staying at home, not voting for Labour if you believed them. But actually, of course, we know that they aren't really in their hearts committed to doing the same things as the Tories, however inadequately, are trying to do. They are much more woke, they are much more high spending, high borrowing, high taxation in their hearts than the Tories are. Tories may be spending too much, taxing too much, borrowing too much, but Labour will clearly be worse on all those fronts. It will be worse uh, on standing up for Britain and making our own rules rather than accepting those uh, we've inherited from others or we have to take on the you know, international conventions and so on. So um, I can't see any reason for voting Labour. I can see when I try and be biased, unbiased and balanced and forget that I'm a Conservative, some reasons for staying at home. But I can't see any reason for voting Labour. <laughs> that's, that's very interesting. Can I also ask you about a, a Labour think tank? Uh, this is Labour Together. They've been described as crucial to Keir Starmer's vision for government. I think sort of playing the same role that sort of the IPPR played uh, for Tony Blair. Um, they are basically urging Starmer to give default British citizenship to the 3.7 million EU citizens granted settled status in the UK after Brexit. Of course, lots of people were told, you know, Brexiteers were, were saying, you know, we're going to make everyone go home and deport everyone. No, no, if you'd lived here for a certain number of years, came in under the EU, you had a right not just to stay, but a right uh, to get uh, automatic, basically uh, default, you know, settled status. They're saying to go further and to move to actually give people citizenship uh, to say to assuage fears among Britons about migrants failing to contribute to the economy. Now, I do wonder whether part of the aim of this would actually be about a future EU referendum, because of course there was a big fuss from the Remainers back in 2016 that EU citizens weren't allowed to vote. You had to be a British citizen, quite rightly, to vote on in the EU referendum. But if these people were made British citizens, that would probably be more than enough to swing the vote the Remainers way. Um, what do you make of this uh, proposal? Well, it is an incredibly cynical way of trying to manipulate the electorate to um, weight it more in favour of both Remain, but also they think they'd be more likely to vote Labour uh, and not vote Conservative. Uh, and uh, we have rules about who can vote. You have to be and how you can become a citizen. To change those rules in that cynical way would be uh, an extraordinary thing to do. And actually, that is a very good reason for not voting Labour and for voting Conservative. If you don't want to see the electorate manipulated, um, bringing millions of people in, giving them the vote because you think they may vote for you. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Peter Lilly, Lord Lilly, former deputy of the Conservative Party, thank you so much for joining us.